Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Svetok, and I'm a software engineer on Google Cloud Dataflow. Prior to this, I used to be a technical solutions engineer, uh, working very, very closely with Dataflow customers as well as Apache Beam users. And so I had some insight on common Dataflow customer issues, but I wanted to take this lightning talk and delve deep, delve really deep on one of them. And so how I'll introduce it is I'll sort of build up some of the motivation as to what probably leads to this misunderstanding. And then I'll cover the issue itself. And it's a, you know, it's a service account related issue. And at the end of the, you know, at the end of the session, there'll be some times for some, some time for some offline questions. So the specific issue that I'll be discussing today uh, kind of falls in the intersection of Cloud IAM, Compute Engine, and networking. And so to build some motivation, suppose you want to build a pipeline and run it on Google Cloud Dataflow. So the first thing you would do is you could write it in, you know, using Apache Beam, and you could use one of our SDKs. And when you want to deploy this pipeline, it'll get sent to a job manager, which you can think of as a primary controller or a primary worker. And you know, this this is going to be very responsible for things like storing your job metadata and really kind of the work that's not, or the, the, the sort of stuff that's not actually processing or doing your job. Um, that's gonna be your secondary workers that are sort of carrying out and executing uh, the work to be done. And at the same time, this pipeline code uh, is gonna be sent to a Google Cloud storage bucket. And later it'll sort of become clear why this is important. But the Dataflow service really takes care of uh, you know, sort of spinning up your workers and, you know, making sure that your secondary workers are doing the work and that they get sent back uh, so that the user can sort of see at the end. So the data flow service sort of takes care of all this. And so you don't have to think about that. So I mentioned sort of the primary worker It's responsible for having some metadata. Uh, it's also responsible for leasing out work to the secondary workers. So it, it leases out work to all of the secondary workers that are then gonna process the data and send it back to the primary worker. Okay. And yeah, your secondary workers are all compute engine VMs. So there's concepts of regional endpoints and zones and uh, it's pretty easy to think of these uh, in the sense if you map regional endpoint to the primary controller and zone to the secondary workers. So your regional endpoint here is gonna be responsible for you know, deploying and controlling your secondary workers. And it's also gonna store the job metadata like I had mentioned. Uh, one thing to note is that it's automatically gonna set to US Central 1 unless uh, stated otherwise. And uh, your zone is gonna define where your secondary workers are. and um, Sometimes you would want your regional endpoint and your zone to be in the same geographic area. Other times you'd want them to be uh, separate. So for example, if you like data locality, you'd want them to be in the same geographic area. Uh, but if your org has specific security and compliance restrictions, or you just want some geographic separation, then it's ideal to have, uh, you know, to set your regional endpoint and your zone in two different geographic areas. Uh, of course, one sort of consequence to this is that if they are in separate areas, you might experience some slight network latency, uh, you know, when your data flow job is carrying out. Okay, so this all leads to sort of the common issue or maybe misunderstanding that um, some customers might have on uh, sort of what service accounts need to be uh, present uh, when you're running a data flow job. And so, uh, the answer is that there's a minimum of two service accounts necessary, and it's pretty simple to think of these, uh, again, as mapping to your primary worker and your secondary workers. So if you think of your data flow service account as mapping to your primary worker, uh, you can see that this service account is key for, uh, you, you know, having worker creation, monitoring, um, and sort of all the other things that I mentioned that the primary worker is responsible for. And this service account is going to take the form uh, listed on the slide, service hyphen, uh, you know, project number. And uh, similarly, you can think of your controller service account as mapping to your secondary workers. And so this is going to take the form project hyphen number, uh, hyphen compute. And this is going to be really key because, you know, your secondary workers are going to be the VMs actually carrying out the work. 
So they're, they're going to need, for example, permissions to that GCS bucket that we saw in the previous slide uh, to obtain the pipeline code and actually execute out the work. And um, I think if you can think of these in you know, the data flow service account and the controller service account as mapping to the primary and the secondary uh, workers, then that's a pretty good way of sort of reasoning about it. Um, oftentimes, the issues that arise because of a lack of this, um, sometimes you might see some access denied issues. Sometimes you may see something in your logging that just you know has something related to IAM uh, or permissions not granted. And I often think a really good place to start uh, when you notice sort of issues around that area are to look on your Google Cloud UI and go to the Cloud IAM and ensure that these two service accounts are present. Uh, you know, like that's that's kind of like a nice sanity check uh, to go forward and debug maybe more complicated issues. Um, so yeah, that that's sort of the main uh, sort of topic of this lightning talk. And so to recap what I covered, uh, you know, when I was discussing the motivation, I talked a lot about how a pipeline executes, um, you know, with the data flow runner mechanics. And then I also discussed um, the core, you know, we need at least a minimum of two service accounts uh, when executing on data flow. So I'm happy to take any questions offline. Um, I hope you're all having a wonderful time at the summit and I look forward to hearing from uh, you all that may have questions. Oh, 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 oh,